Now, over the past few weeks, we've dropped a few brief mentions to both Glastonbury and TikTok, and not a man who has these things in common is fantastic singer-songwriter Stephen Sanchez. But, well, who on earth is Stephen Sanchez? I'd certainly heard his music before I even knew who he was, so when Elton John brought him out onto the stage at Glastonbury, I was incredibly confused at this devilishly handsome... <laughs> This new talented musician could possibly be, and why he was worthy of being brought onto the main stage for Elton John's headline act. And well, when he started off belting out Until I Found You, and tens of thousands of people sang it back to him, I realised two things. Number one, I know this song from TikTok. Number two, this guy is incredibly talented and seems like a very, very competent guitar player. As a result, I ventured down a brief rabbit hole and discovered that there was far more to Stephen Sanchez than his TikTok hit Until I Found You. Stephen Sanchez is an American singer songwriter amassing an outstanding 700 million streams on his big hit tune until i found you despite him being only 20 years old wait what only 20 years oh what this guy was born in 2002 and has over a billion streams on his songs across spotify what is going on this guy was born while i was sat watching lord of the rings in the cinema oh god life is cruel and unfair what? <laughs> At 20 years old, it is fair to say that Stephen is blessed by having a jump start to his career and already achieving outstanding things. And he's clearly a very talented songwriter and a very competent guitar player once again. And his music style took me by surprise when I actually dived into listening to his existing releases. Like many others, I originally heard his work on TikTok went until I found you went viral on the platform and really helped boost his presence in a demographic different to those who might have heard it originally. But ashamedly, when I first heard until I found you, I ignored it. Yep. I ignored it. I admit it. I'm a donut. I thought Until I Found You was just another TikTok song going through the swings, and I didn't really pay much attention to Stephen Sanchez's work. That was until Elton John brought him out on stage. And through a host of research, it turns out he's been releasing music for a couple of years now, working away at his craft and really reflecting his talents in his releases. And it seemed that Until I Found You wasn't actually the original catalyst for Stephen's burst onto the scene. It was actually his single back in 2020, Lady by the Sea, of which he posted a video of him on TikTok singing the single when he was 17. Wait, 17? 17. 17 and he had a big hit on TikTok. Oh, why is life cool? I'm so old. This is like discovering how young Alfie Templeman is all over again. What? <laughs> So, through posting his video of Lady by the Sea, he was picked up by Mercury Records and released his EP in 2021. And also had concurrent fame with Until I Found You, also going viral on TikTok, which is probably the song most of us know by him. So, through such knowledge, I decided that I'd start by listening to his EP from 2021. What was, not now, that is the title, I'm not spouting nonsense. And well, I don't know how else to put this. It's Great! And it only fueled my further shame of ignoring his work from the first time round. And then I listened to Easy On My Eyes, his album from 2022, which simply continued those feelings of guilt. Stephen's work has this great effect of building emotion that could elicit some feeling of sadness or solitude, but packaged in a way that still surprisingly feels uplifting, and able to fight off those nagging traits of solemnness. And it's the type of music you'd expect to hear from an experienced writer, maybe in their mid to late 20s, not someone who is, well, literally 20. Overall, he blends a great mixture of very indie folk styles, reminiscent of songs such as Don't Think Twice by Bob Dylan, a lot of Vance Joy's work, and maybe, dare I say it, Mumford and Sons. And no, I don't mean that in an insulting way. I meant it as a compliment. If you're a fan of the band The Vaccines, most noted for their single If You Wanna, you might know that the lead singer Justin originally had some solo work put out under the name JJ Pistole. And Stephen Sanchez's tunes really do remind me of Justin's solo work. It's typically based around romance and the ways in which we put ourselves at risk and leave our emotions exposed, or reflecting on the lasting effect that detaching from a relationship you are incredibly codependent on can affect you. And in many ways, the solemnness of Stephen's song topics reminds me of Leif Volbeck, champion of the sad boy singer-songwriter scene. Except instead of committing to the sad boy hours in the same way Leif does, Stephen feels a bit more reserved than that, yet somehow still able to portray those desperate feelings of romance. Songs that I really like by Stephen are pretty much unwell, not to sound too Alan Partridge here, but all of them. The benefit also of discovering Stephen's music at this point is that he hasn't put too many albums or too many songs out. There's an album, there's an EP, and a host of singles, and it really all is pretty top tier stuff and worth giving a go. For songs like Kayla, Mountain Peaks, I Want You, Evangeline, Only Girl, and obviously Until I Found You do stand out on the ones I'd recommend hitting up. But one song that really stands out for me and I'd like to speak about is Because of You. Now it's fair to say that Until I Found You is a fantastic song, but I'd arguably say my favourite song of his that really hits those emotional depths and gets the man tears flowing in your eyes 
is because of you. If I could make one recommendation besides his big hit, it's certainly this song. The tune is so drawn back with Stephen's voice echoing amongst that jaunty piano tune, really picturing some deep, deep sad boy hours. Overall resulting in a very haunting song that is somehow depicting the happy nature of love in a way that feels let down and full of melancholy. And it's a fantastic song and I hope this one blows up as well. As for me, I think it's what actually confirmed that Steven Sanchez has it in his locker to reproduce excellent music and is ultimately what locked me into listening to his future releases. I can't recommend this song enough and I'd really, really recommend giving it a go. But there we have it. Whether you're already a fan or looking for some new music, go treat yourself and listen to some Steven Sanchez with cool, breezy tunes equipped for every possible emotion. Good for you, Steven. Good for you. As always, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new here. And on that note, I think I'll say ta for now, and I'll see you later.